Hey guys, here we are today. Um, I was going to show you something I ran across. I've looked online, just couldn't find anything as far as a video showing how to do this. I've um, had to do a building here and I'm, I'm staining some strip wood. And all these things talk about using acrylic paints with water, letting them soak overnight or two or three days, anything, whatever, and get your colors different. Anyway, what I was going to do is show you how I did it real, uh, pretty, really fast. This takes, um, I'm strain, staining strip wood for a, a whole building. Um, you know, in, in about an hour, hour and a half. It, it really doesn't take that long. Anyway, um, here, here's a finished side. I accidentally sheeted the wrong side of a building, so I got to make some more, so I figured I'd do a video real quick. Anyway, um, what I do is um, go ahead, and I, currently I'm using balsa, balsa for this one. Um, you can use, I've, al I've already tried this on poplar and um, also some basswood, and it works pretty well. You can just add more coats the darker you want it. Anyway, the very first thing I do is I take my strip wood, go ahead and cut it down to size. If you want to distress it, go ahead and distress it, whatever you want to do. But first thing I do is I take, a, um, I got a jar here mixed with, um, it's some brown and some black uh, shoe polish mixed in 90% 90 per, 90 alcohol. And I just take my strip wood and I put it in there and I just, I just shake it up. And it doesn't have to take too long. I mean, you can leave it 10, 15 minutes if you want to. But I just more or less take and put it in there. And then I just take it out. I take a paper towel and take each strip and just wipe it off and just lay it down. And that just kind of darkens it up just a tad, gets a little bit of the uh, darkness in the, in the cracks and crevices. And what I do is I just wipe this off. And being an alcohol, it hasn't, it does not stay, it does not warp my strip wood. Or it hasn't warped any of I had. All right, the next thing I need to do, and what I'm going to do, it just takes a few minutes. I'm going to go put this under, um, to speed things up, I've got a, a heater fan. I, I stick this under to dry the alcohol out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and dry that out real quick, and then we'll be back and show you our next step. Okay, my strip wood's dry. We're back here at the bench. Um, you can tell I've been doing a lot of staining here. Anyway, the next thing you do is you get your acrylic paint. And what I try to do is get two or three shades that are just a little bit different. Um, like this is a nutmeg and earth brown. And I think the main one I've been using is like a chocolate brown. But anyway, I get um, paint, get ones that are, are pretty close in, in color, but just a little bit of variation. So you can vary it, uh, have variations in your color on your wall. Anyway, you'll see when I put this in here, you want to shake it up good. And you can see that it just more or less clumps up in the bottom because it doesn't mix well with the alcohol. Now, um, I, I said 90%, this is 70% alcohol, but it works, it works really good for what I'm doing. Um, anyway, you, you put some in, of, of your two or three colors in, um, and you can mix it um, how dark your stain will be by how much um, alcohol versus the paint you got in there. But anyway, once I do that, I take this and I just mix it up with the brush. And it's, it, it really does not want to, um, I guess it still kind of stays separate because it, if you watch, it clumps up on the brush. And I have to drag it off the sides to get it out get those big clumps off the brush. And you don't want the big ones because you just you more or less throwing a bunch of pigment on there and it's not a stain, it's just like a, a, a thick a thick paint. But you can see I've I'm what I'm doing now is just making sure I've got a good mixture of the color into the what the the floating alcohol or floating in the alcohol there. So I've wiped this off. Then I just dip the tip of it in there and I brush it. Now you can vary like I said you can vary it according to how much um, paint you have in there. And um, I also, let's pull two of these off. If you really want a little bit darker, I mix it and then I hit the bottom with it, which is where all that paint sits. And you can see it, it brings it in darker. And then, um, what I do is I go drop this over and um, let it dry. That's one color. I'm gonna mix this other one up. And I don't clean the brush in between because that will get a little bit of color variation. Uh, this is a, um, I've got this brush at uh, Hobby Lobby. It's a, it's a 
Royal Majestic 4055. It's a scrubber brush. I like it because it's round. It's got plenty of bristles. It holds plenty of plenty of the color. And you can see how dark that can get. That's, I, that's a lot of paint in that one. And then I'm just going into the water there. Now once you, uh, the, this will, when it dries, it will be dry a little bit lighter. But um, we'll go over here and let that dry. Um, let me grab a couple pieces of the stuff I already did. And um, this is some of the, you saw the building size, but anyway, this is, I just did these two paints a, a few minutes ago, or well, I just got finished a little while ago. Anyway, you can see the color variation, hopefully with the camera. Um, but it, it still dries nice and flat, and um, I think it looks pretty good on the side of the building. But that takes a lot less time than some of the soaking methods, soaking them overnight. Um, you just have to clean your brush good and just um, keep stirring. If you let it sit a while, all that paint will go to the bottom and you have to re-stir it if you're going to reuse this. But like I said, um, what I generally do is just set this off the side, give it, you know, uh, 30, 40 minutes. It's usually pretty much dry. But you can, like I said, you can see on here how that paint just clumps up on the brush. But anyway, I hope this helps. I, I, I looked on YouTube, didn't see a video anywhere because I'm always in a hurry. And, um, but uh, I figured I'd, somebody would have one on there that showed how to do this. I hope it helps and... Thank you very much.